Hi, it's September the 2nd, 2015. This is Wes Fryer, and in this screencast I would like to demonstrate for you how to create a voice recording using your iPhone using an app called Voice Record Pro that is free, and how you can submit that recording, which is actually saved as a video, into Google Classroom. And so this may be something you will want to share with your students as you are using Google Classroom as a teacher. First question to probably address is why do this and voice recording can be a great way to capture student ideas certainly if you're teaching a language class it can be great to have students record in the language that they are learning but whatever grade you're teaching it can be great to have students express ideas and share them with audio and the only additional thing I'd mention here is that it's a good idea to put some restrictions on time when you have an assignment that is going to use audio because it's pretty easy for folks to talk a long time as I will try not to do in this recording and so you might want to tell students maximum two minutes you know maximum 90 seconds whatever the case may be so we're going to use two apps to do this and I'm going to demonstrate this for you on the screen using my iPhone um, the first app we're going to use is called voice record pro it is only available for iPhone and iPad I do not think it is available at this time for Android there are other apps that will record audio the beautiful thing about this free app is that it will save the audio that we make as a video file and so it will be saved to the camera roll which is kind of a common denominator saving spot on the iPhone to you know use it with different apps and so after we record with voice record pro we will then open this app called Google classroom you could even consider this an app smash we're smashing together two apps using voice record pro and then Google classroom will be using to actually submit that file as a student so if you'd like to link to these resources you can go to our website support.cassidy.org and you can click the link for apps and this is a growing list of apps including these two that you can use so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up the voice record pro app over here on my iPhone on the right side of the screen I'm gonna tap record and um, I'll go ahead and press the red record button and it's going to start recording and so I'll just do a little sample recording here so testing one two three this is a sample recording and we are demonstrating voice record pro I tapped on the red or the uh, square which is a, a blue uh, button there at the bottom and I could now play this if I wanted to hear you know hear myself uh, I could go ahead and play it I can also um, select uh, down here below to uh, change the title so I'm just gonna call this uh, test by Wes but your students could you know put whatever title they want and then when they save it they can they can choose to save that name there's also a place to put notes and so I'll just say uh, no notes this time but as you're gonna see here in, in just a minute whatever I put here as the title of the notes can actually show up as the image saved with the uh, video file so I have now recorded this file what I'm ready to do is actually save it in a photo album now if you're not seeing these in order you can tap up here in the upper right corner and you can change the order of where these things uh, appear I I actually have things like save by send by email turned off send by SMS you can turn these things on or off and then you can adjust where they are positioned and I have save and photo album at the top because that's the one that I use the most so I'm gonna tap save to photo album and it doesn't save yet it pops up with a little button that I, I tap save and now I have 14 different templates that I can use and if I wanted to I could actually put a picture with this um, but uh, I'm not going to do that I'm going to going to just come over here and uh, choose one of these blank ones and if you want to have the voice record pro it can or or I like this one this is template six it just says my title test by Wes and it says no notes at this time let me go back a second and tap X and, and mention that if you want to put in a picture you'll tap right here on the camera icon and I could go to my albums and then I could select whatever picture you know I wanted here's a picture uh, from chapel today of the sorting ceremony which isn't related to what we're doing here but I could add Add that as a picture and then when I say save in photo album I have that as an option and so that picture can be there but you do not need to include a picture and depending upon the template that you select it, you know you can use these templates that don't have any pictures at all so I've selected that template I tap continue and now that 
recording is saved to my photo album so that it is available to do whatever I want you know inside my photos I can test that by going home clicking on my photos and when I come here I guess to albums and I click on videos look at that I have a six or sorry an eight second recording right here um, that is that that's my audio file that I recorded and so what I want to do now is I want to take that from photos and I want to submit that in Google Classroom for a class assignment so I'm gonna open up my app Google Classroom it is available for not only iPhone iPad but also available uh, for um, Android and here are all the classes that I am enrolled in as a student and so I'm gonna tap this is just a test class but I'm going to go ahead and tap on this and here's the all about me assignment and so it's unsubmitted and so I'm going to tap on this and then um, I'm going to tap where it says your work notice there's two tabs here at the top it has the instructions and there's some class comments and then it says your work and here are where I have attachments at the bottom it says add or create attachments I'll tap there I could add things from Google Drive a link but I'm going to choose pick photo and don't be deceived even though it says photo we can choose videos because the photo roll on the iPhone has both photos and videos and if I tap on my videos album I can select that eight second recording that I just made I'm gonna choose it and now that file is uploading and being added to this assignment so that is going to be available for my teacher right there um, to go ahead and, and click and, and take a look at. I think these were other files that I had done in class so I'm just going to click the X to remove those and I'm just going to leave that that one video. So I can add a comment if I want to. Uh, all done. Okay, whatever. This is going to be a comment that my uh, teacher is going to be able to see. And now when I click resubmit it is going to go ahead and turn in that file and so that is the way that you can use these two apps that I've been demonstrating the first one was voice record pro the second was Google classroom and you can actually submit a video so I hope that has been helpful again if you'll visit our website support.cassidy.org you'll find more instructional videos as well as information about apps and I wish you luck as you voice record and encourage students to voice record and then turn those assignments in digitally using a smartphone like an iPhone.